Hi, good afternoon everyone. Welcome to our Thursday summer reading activity. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to build a castle out of cardboard boxes so that you can kind of learn how to do it and then when we're done we'll tell you how to pick up your take and make information. Um, but we wanted to start with a book because we're a library and we like books. So we are going to do Not a Box. Um, and we want to thank um, HarperCollins Publishers for allowing us to use this book. Um, so, Not a Box. To children everywhere sitting in cardboard boxes. Why are you sitting in a box? It's not a box. What is it? A race car. What are you doing on top of that box? Hmm, what do you think you could make now? It's not a box. What is it? A mountain. He's standing on a mountain. Why are you squirting a box? What do you think he could be making this time? I said, it's not a box. It's a, it's a building that's on fire and he's a firefighter. He has such a good imagination. Now you're wearing a box? Let's see. This is not a box. What is it now? He's a rabbit robot, or he's a rabot, rabot XL3 to be exact. Are you still standing around in that box? What is it now? It's not, 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 not a box. So let's see, we have, you see what he is here? He's a pirate, so he's on a pirate ship. And here he's riding an elephant. And here, he's up in a balloon floating in the sky. Down here, he's on, it looks like a tugboat. And he's going to go out and help the bigger ships get into port. Well, what is it then? If it's not a box, hmm, he's thinking. What would it be if it's not a box? It's my not a box. And now he's turned it into a robot. So, sorry, a rocket. <laughs> the robot was earlier. A rocket ship. So there's so many cool and amazing things that we can make with cardboard boxes. And today we happen to be doing castles. So we're gonna turn it over to Miss Suzanne to show us how to make a castle out of a box. Hey everybody, I hope you're having a good uh, Thursday. I almost said Saturday. I have no idea what day it is anymore. I'm sure you guys have been going through the same thing. So today we're going to make some um, cardboard box castles. And I brought along a couple of different examples and I'm going to kind of show you how to do some cutting and some measuring. But some things you might want to have on hand are some good scissors, a ruler, some different types of markers. Um, I use Sharpies but Parents don't always like kids using Sharpies, so even just Crayola markers are fine. I have some glue, tape, scrap paper, and then lots of different types of cardboard. Um, oh, and zip ties, which when you get your cake and make, you'll get a pack of um, duct tape and you'll get zip ties in your cake and make. But so the first thing you're going to want to do is measure out what you want your castle to look like. You're going to measure, and I did about three inches. Every three inches, anybody you would want to do is repeat that all the way on all the sides. Helps if you have your ruler, you ruler it, right? <laughs> and you just want to measure where you're going to cut. The best thing to do Make sure you watch your fingers when you do this cutting because it can get a little tense. I just cut along my slits, cut along my lines and make slits. And then I kind of bend the side in a little bit or out a little bit so that way I 
can cut along the edge like this. So you kind of keep repeating that along all the sides, and eventually it'll look like this. And you'll have all of your edges cut. And it looks like the top of a castle. So now I want to add a tower to the top of my castle, or to the corners of my castle. So I did this one with a zip tie. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to ask Miss Kimberly to come in and help me and hold the tower in place. Make sure, kind of line them up. You want them to be about even. And I kind of measured which zip tie would work the best. Um, I actually have to cut a little hole in the side of my cardboard for the zip tie to go through. But the orange one will work. Just fine. So I'm going to cut a little slit using my scissors. I just kind of poke the scissors through the cardboard. And Miss Kimberly's going to hold it for me right there. I'm going to, going to weave my zip tie through. And if you just push the one end in, it'll hold it just fine. Squeeze it. Just like that. Sometimes that helps if you grab yeah. that end too. Squeeze it. Yep. Yeah. It should squeeze. It takes two. There we go. That's good. So then I have two towers. And what you can do is you can decorate windows on your towers if you want. I just did a little half circle. See how that is? And then color it in. You could also use paper and glue it on if you don't want to use markers. And you can also do the same thing for a door. Color a big door on. Just draw the shape. And then you would just fill it in. I'm not going to fill it in all the way because you guys kind of get the idea. Um, this is a smaller castle. So let's say you don't have big boxes at home, but you do have toilet paper or paper towel tubes. And I just did the same sort of thing. I started just cutting notches. And then every other one, I would cut out. And you end up like this. Now I want, on this tower, I'm gonna put a top on and so I got some paper and I made a circle. And actually what I did is I used the inside of my duct tape to, or the outside of my duct tape to make a perfect circle. So that way if you need something to trace to make a perfect circle, you can't. So here's your circle and I cut this one out already. So in order to make a cone, you take your circle and you cut a slit about to the middle. And then you kind of just fold it onto each other, onto itself, like that. You want to use some smaller tape. The duct tape gets pretty big when you do it to something like this. You tape down the edge. So then it looks like this. Now you have a little topper. And now I'm going to put that on there. But I'm going to put a little tape on the inside of the tube in two places so it'll hold the topper on. So I'm going to go ahead and get two pieces of tape. One in the front and then one in the back. And then I'll line my topper up like this and I'll kind of push it onto the tape here and then push it onto the tape there. And now this tower has a topper or a cone, I should say. Um, but yeah, using at home any types of boxes, I found like this really nice tall skinny box that would be really great for a tower. Um, we also have some nice white boxes that you could use or small boxes. You can use any kind of box that you want. So over here, I have a couple of other examples that I made. So you can get some more ideas of what you can do. So here's a smaller box with two t cones on top. This one was just a to uh, paper towel tube. And in order, instead of using the zip ties, I cut two slits in the back of the, um, the tube. And so that way it had kind of like this flap. And then you just kind of 
slide it over the corner, and then I use duct tape to tape it in. So that way, if you don't want to use the zip ties or the zip ties are too slippery, you can always use tape. Tape, especially duct tape, works for everything. And that's what this one is. This, this castle is all made just with duct tape. I duct tape the top down. I duct tape this to the, um, the tower, to the castle. And then I did cut out paper and use paper here for the door and for the window instead of using all the marker. So you can see there's lots of different ways you can turn boxes into castles. And um, I hope you guys have fun making some castles and I really can't wait to see what you do. And we're going to go back to Miss Kimberly and she's going to tell you about how to pick up the tape and mix. Thanks, guys. All right, so if you would like to do this at home, we do have take and makes. Um, what we have in here, as Miss Suzanne said, is a roll of duct tape. There's um, some different colors and some zip ties. So just some things to get you started. Of course, you'll need your own scissors. Um, you'll also want to um, have some boxes. We do have a few boxes here. If you would like to um, have a box, we'll bring some out when we do the take and make so that you can choose one if you would like. Uh, but if you're anything like me, you've been ordering a lot and you have a lot of boxes at home anyway. So our take and makes are available for pickup 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. So you could pick up this afternoon or tomorrow afternoon. Um, all you need to do is set up an appointment with us. So you're going to call 720-425-9319. I will put that into the description as well, but one more time, 720 425-9319. Um, we'll schedule an appointment with you and then you can come and pick them up. Also, we do have several of the Tuesday take and makes left. So if you did not get one of those and would like one, um, just let us know that as well. If I don't answer the phone, please leave your name, <clears throat> your phone number, the date and time that you would like to do your pickup, um, and the number of kits and whether it's the Tuesday kits, Thursday kits, or both. Uh, when you arrive, we're going to ask you to come to the garage side. That's where we're doing all of our pickups. And once you get there, go ahead and call that number again, that hotline number, and we will um, just bring it right out to you. There's a table out there. We'll set it on the table and you can pick it up from there. Um, I think that's everything. So uh, thank you again for joining us in our first week of summer reading programs. We will do this Again, next week we will have a Tuesday party, we'll have a Wednesday performer, and we'll have another um, Thursday activity. So I um, hope you all have a great weekend, and we'll see you later.